。二十八号，就在第七十六届联合国大会一般性辩论周结束后，第七十六届联大主席沙希德接受了央视记者的独家专访。沙希德表示，感谢中国为应对全球挑战做出的努力。We know the general debate has been concluded, and、uh, this year the General Assembly theme is to、uh, build resilience through hope. So, what do you think of the general debate? Has hope been delivered, and what comes next? I was very encouraged、uh, by the general debate. How countries came together. The general debate clearly demonstrated uh, that uh, leaders wanted to come together、uh, with a ray of hope、uh, to their people.、Uh, the positive message、uh, that came across during the general debate. Uh, I'm sure、uh, was enlightening, and it has given hope to many around the world.、Uh, actually, UN had a very ambitious objective, which is to vaccinate 40 percent of the population in the world by the end of this year and 70 percent by mid 2022. Yet, both you and the Secretary General mentioned there's a big vaccine inequality. So, how how will UN achieve that very ambitious goal with all those challenges? Well.、Uh, After my election,、uh, the first speech I made, I highlighted the fact that there is no alternative、uh, but to vaccinate the entire world, because、uh, we have clearly come to know that no one is safe until everyone is safe. So there is no choice. Many leaders,、uh, even during the general debate, came out、uh, saying、uh, that they are ready uh, to uh, contribute uh, to this effort. Uh, I am、uh, encouraged by the fact that、uh, President Xi,、uh, during his、uh, statement, for example,、uh, promised、uh, to donate two billion doses of vaccine. I sincerely believe that、uh, the world community, international community, today has the capacity, and、uh, it is a doable, it's an、uh, achievable target to vaccinate everyone by the end of 2022.